Okay. Okay, and the, the other collections are uh, pins from different countries. And uh, also some uh, signalization on the road. But these uh, towns that appear here are chapters, the, the titles of the chapters in my book. Mm -hmm. Then the, here is the biggest collection of table tennis balls. Why, why tennis balls? Because uh, also newspapers wrote about this, this is a symbol for traveling. Mm -hmm. Because in my country, or also in your country, there are like 10 or 20 different balls. But if you go to other countries, you will find other balls. Because one sports shop will not have 50 different, because no use, they have like two or three. Uh, and uh, here also we have beer mates and uh, huts. It's written how many kilometers I traveled with them. But the uh, number one is, of course, this one, 100,000 kilometers. And the card is also on the book, on the front page. Uh, then here are some games, like uh, which flag is from which country. So you have uh, Great Britain, you have Czech Republic, Finland, so people play this. Then you have uh, inhabitants, how many inhabitants are in these countries you have to put on the right number. And here is also the big, big collection, because I said I like football very much. They are the best teams from whole Europe, also some from uh, other uh, countries. Well, here are some games like uh, which borders are there in Europe. So you put Portugal, then comes Spain and so on. You travel from Atlantic coast, you travel to Baltic coast. You travel this way, but the problem is that you forgot map at home, and you have just a list of countries, and then you must put these cars one after another. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here you have uh, one game, which beer is from which country? So you must put the right beer on the right country. People like this, uh, they like to play this game because uh, when they travel around they also drink beer and so people like to play very much this game. Well, uh, then uh, here are capitals, but uh, these are a little bit uh, easier ones. Usually I say these are for our kids and for French people because French people are not really good for this. And I see that also Italians are not very big experts and uh, Spanish also not. Maybe the big countries, they don't have a need to know about other countries. So maybe because of this they know it. But they are a little bit more difficult. Uh, uh, capitals like uh, uh, Baltic lands, like Malta, Andorra, Iceland and so on. But I respect all the countries, the small ones, and uh, big ones, because I've been to 42 countries and I don't say to 10 big countries, to three small, no, 42, each country, one number. Mm -hmm. And what? This press, uh, press, press about the uh, whole newspaper they wrote about me. And what, what, like when you receive tourists, visiting or travelers, visiting the museum, what message do you like them to have when they enter the space? Or what is the idea? Well, first I say this is embassy of hitchhiking. Because people who come here, they travel a lot. First they have a rest a little bit. They look around and uh, they share stories they lived when they were uh, uh, on the road. And of course then, uh, uh, the idea is also not just to persuade uh, drivers, but to say them that we hitchhikers are not uh, 
dangerous, that we are not terrorists, you know, that we are good people and so on. And I think, the, especially in Slovenia, after so many articles in the newspaper and so on, people say, well, it's good to take some hitchhikers. So I think this is good for hitchhiking. And of course, I have a promotion of my book, which is now in two languages, but it will be within two, three months, it will be in another three languages. So it will be five languages. Uh, and of course, maybe somebody decided uh, to hitchhike. Because, well, traveling with hitchhiking means also quite ecological. Because you don't uh, put gasoline in your car, you travel with somebody who is going this uh, direction. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, embassy of hitchhiking. And what have you learned so far with all these years of experience or with the museum? What, what are like the biggest lessons that you had? Well, especially uh, in the beginning I wanted to see Europe, I wanted to see new countries. But after so many years, a little bit all the things changed. I wanted to meet people, stories and so on, because we live in this world also, uh, beware. Uh, uh, social human beings, how to say. We, I like to share the stories, I like to meet nice, good people because the one who will stop you and take you in his car, he's got a good heart, definitely. He, so I have a big privilege to be in company with very good people. And that's important for me. And well, uh, sometimes we also uh, share uh, Maybe for uh, for our business something and so on. I must I must tell you that I was working 20 years in one company and the owner I met when I was hitchhiking through Italy. Yeah, this is really hitchhiking is in my life. This is a part of my life definitely. Uh, and I like to hitchhike also because somehow I like to resolve problems. Some people said, well, you were, you were born to resolve problems. If they, I, I like to resolve problems. If there are no problems, I create them to resolve them. No, no. I like, uh, sometimes it's good, you know, this is like a vaccination for uh, your private life. I mean, or business life, because you have to fight. If you are in the middle of Germany, half a meter of snow, in the winter, at two o'clock in the morning, you cannot say, oh, helicopter come and now I'm not in the game anymore. No, you must save, you, you must resolve the situation and somehow also in life. You must go just further, further, no, don't look back. Just go on you know, and go on. And this made me a little bit uh, uh, more, how to say, uh, a better fighter. So I also have to fight for some things I'm doing in my life. Uh, and uh, this gave me some additional strength. Perfect. It's beautiful.